Hello everyone, welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Tailwind CSS version 2.2 was released on June 17th with a huge number of features. The biggest one being a high performance Tailwind CLI that allows you to use all the latest features of Tailwind CSS without even installing it in your project. So let's see everything it has to offer. This video is sponsored by Showcase, a social network built and optimized for developers and coders. Devs can connect to like-minded individuals and showcase their projects. You can share blogs, videos, projects, code snippets, and short messages. If you are a content creator, you can choose to put your content behind a paywall. Whether you write daily tech articles, share career advice, or make tutorials about certain frameworks, you can make some money through paid subscribers. Join me and thousands of developers on Showcase today. I will create a completely new project, MKDIR, Tailwind Latest, CD Tailwind Latest, and then let me open this in Visual Studio Core. Let me create an index.html file with just the minimal structure. Let me call it Tailwind v2.2. And then here, let me add something like, you know, body class min height screen. So it takes up the full height. And then just say flex, justify center and content sorry items center so that everything is in the center and then let me just add a h1 that says hello tailwind css okay currently nothing's going to happen we'll have to have a style sheet for now let's call it styles.css and let's just create an empty styles.css okay nothing is in there but very soon we'll have something let me open this up with live server. Right, so we have this open here. And now let's open terminal here. And now we're going to do the magic of generating the styles.css using Tailwind CLI, right? That is the command line interface. Now, for that, you only need to install something known as npm and that's quite common. I'm assuming you already have it installed globally in your system. If not, do Google out of how to install npm either on Windows or Mac or Linux, whichever system you're on. And once you have npm installed, just check npm-v. And if you get some number like this, that means npm is installed correctly. So if you have that, next, you have to do npx. So npx is to execute something directly without even installing, which is exactly what we are doing right now. So npx tailwind CSS. So we are saying use tailwind CSS to generate the CSS file and output it to styles.css. Okay, let's see what happens. So this takes some time and after 302 milliseconds, I think that was longer. Anyway, you look at this, right? Definitely Tailwind CSS is imported and that's why everything is in center. Great. This is great. Let's look at the styles.css that got generated and you will notice that this is a very, very huge file. Naturally, you will not want something so huge for just about four classes that we used which is why Tailwind CSS introduced a new JIT compiler in the version 2.1, which we're going to use here. So this remains the same. Now we just add a JIT flag along with a purge flag. What this does is Tailwind CSS checks for all the class names that you've used, all the utility class names, and removes everything else that's unnecessary. So, and it compiles just what is needed along with the base styles. But for purge to work, you'll have to add additional arguments. That is, you'll have to pass all the files where you have your Tailwind classes. In our case, this is just the index.html or any other HTML folders that are there throughout the project. So what I do is I use a path like this dot slash that is current folder 
and in case we have some additional folders within i do star star slash and star dot html okay so let's see what this does okay so apparently it's done and let's now see now you look at it you just have 642 lines of code css and out of which all of these are base styles all our four classes can be found here okay now you don't want to keep running this every time and wait for about uh, six seconds to work which is why we will use everything is same we'll just use a watch option or you can just say dash w option and it will start watching all the changes in your html shall we see that so i have styles.css open here and we have this open so let me okay let me actually run it first sorry so run this and now you'll see that it hasn't ended it's just waiting watching for the changes you make so let's add a class text 4xl and save it the moment you save it you see text 4xl appearing here okay great so let's say text indigo 700 and yes that's also added and you have it here great we are we are seeing that it's being built in just like 132 milliseconds and 14 milliseconds something like that which is very fast for development okay and remember you haven't installed anything we have we don't have the node modules folder it's just index.html and styles.css that's the power of the cli so what if you want to add okay let me close this up what if you want to add some custom styles you know maybe use a button and then uh, extract all the classes and put that in a custom style sheet you can also provide an input file for this tailwind cli so let me stop this for now and let's add a custom style sheet tailwind.css maybe and this here you'll have to do the same things use the tailwind directives and include all the base styles components and utilities and here whatever custom styles you need so let me say in layer components i need a button class with let's say apply bg indigo 700 text white rounded lg padding vertical uh, or horizontal padding maybe px4 py2 yeah that should be good just for testing and then here let's actually use that uh, so let me add this h1 within the div and then we have a button class btn and then learn more of course uh, we don't have we can't see any styles here because this is not yet recognized I and mean, we have to run it once again so the same thing that we did npx tailwind css and before we output with dash o let's give an input file that is dash i tailwind.css and everything else remains the same so hit enter and there you go we have this button styles applied right so you can add any number of custom styles here and do this now let's just say you need some custom configuration you can use the okay let me stop this again you can use the tailwind.config.js that you otherwise use while installing so let me say npx tailwind css in it so this will generate the tailwind.config.js for you which is here okay and this is the default configuration so if you want to add anything uh, you would want to add here maybe some custom classes like say width and then let's say let me add a width of uh, something that's not available like let's say 43 that would be some 10 point 75 rem following the same convention 
I guess this should be within quotes as well. Okay, so now you don't have to uh, do anything else. It's the same command that you use npx, tailwind, CSS, everything. Uh, in case you change the path of this tailwind or dot config dot js, then you'll have to pass a path. So now let's uh, just run it and then include a width of that. So let's just say div class w43 and then maybe height 16 bg uh, indigo 200 just to show you yeah so that uh, div is what we have and this is w43 that is 10.75 rem so this also works so now if you want to see what are the available options that we used like input output you might not want to you might not remember all of these so to check the options you will have to do npx tailwind css dash h that is help okay so this will run at once and then i guess it gives us the yes so we already saw the input option the output the watch jit mode Purge, yes, you could also use post CSS. And ha, huh, this is very important. Now you can even minify the styles which uses CSS nano in the back uh, in the background. And this styles.css can completely be minified. Let's see how to do that. I'll retain all the other options. And here, just after GIT, I'll add a minify. I think we could even add it at the end. So let me not watch it. Let me just say minify. No, that doesn't work. Um, we will have to have the minify before purge. So let's do minify. And you see, everything's in one single line. That's what we want just before production. Okay. So this is about a uh, you know, using the Tailwind CSS CLI without installing anything. If you feel the node modules folder is huge, you don't need it. Of course, this is the way to go. And in case you think this command is too much to type every time, you can always initialize your project and have the script in the package.json file and just do npm, npm run dev or something. But that's like initializing a project. So this, I wanted to keep the video simple, which is why I showed you how to do this. Great, so have fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.